Hi, everyone. Well, uh, I'm very excited to be here. I'm, I'm sure everyone's been enjoying the Rad Fest. I think this year uh, has been really possibly the best yet. Uh, the 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 unbelievable amount of of information. I was trying to take notes, and uh, you know, I I couldn't even write fast enough. So I'm very excited to be here. And uh, as you know, James Stroll, the director of the coalition, uh, is, is here with us. Uh, Bernadine Brown, the co-founder of People Unlimited, and um, we also have here with us today John Asher. He is the co-founder and CEO of um, Asher Longevity Institute. And we also have Newton Lee, and uh, you may recognize him. He is the uh, uh, chairman of the California Transhumanist Party and president of the Institute for Education, Research, and Scholarship. Thank you, Kat, and thank you, John. It's, it's pretty amazing, and I'm honored to be here today to share with you know, some ideas with uh, everyone. So I've been uh, teaching for more than 20 years, uh, even though when I had a full-time job at Disney, I was still, you know, find time to teach uh, because I really love to educate young mind. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with age, okay? I love everyone, right, from the youngest to the oldest. But, uh, you know, a lot of students are in college, and, you know, that's the time when they can reflect on what they're doing and, and plan for the future. Like John you know, said, you know, what do you think about the future? How are you going to plan for it? And uh, so not only do I teach computer science to my students, but also uh, help them find or discover or, or embrace a good mindset. So I ask them, you know, why are you in college? Why are you taking this class? What are you trying to learn? Um, and the, the number one important things about, the number one, the most important thing about uh, being a good teacher is to be a good listener. And the thing is true also for being a parent is you have to be a good listener. Sure, you know, because you have more wisdom, you have more knowledge, you can teach them, teach them whatever you want, right? Teach them about life, teach them about computer science, about engineering, whatever. But they have to develop a good mindset. Okay, so, so being a good listener helps to understand where to stand and help, it helps to understand, uh, you know, any difficulties in lives that they have, any, you know, concerns that they may have. Now, some of my students, are actually uh, autistic. As you know, autism you know, makes it harder to learn. Uh, but interestingly, uh, by listening to them, by trying to help them, they can, feel, they can feel they understand them. They can feel that you care about them. And as a result, actually, some of the autistic kids in my class uh, were A students, where some of the smarter kids, you know, they didn't perform so well, you know, they, they didn't you know, put, put the uh, effort into learning. And you know, maybe they got a B instead of an A which is unfortunate you know, because they're smart. So, so the mindset really make a big difference. Uh, and, and that's probably why I you know, love to be an educator. And as a chairman of the Transcendence, California Transcendence Party, uh, again, you know, I try to educate people, uh, but by asking questions, uh, you know, what do you think about science and technology and how does it affect you know, humanity? Um, so yeah, it, it's a very interesting topic. That's why, you know, I'm lucky to be on this uh, mindset panel. Thank you. Hi, Kat. Yeah, so back to the uh, question from the audience. It was a great question, actually. Uh, you know, the, as we know, the people are living longer and, and you know, it's, maybe it's too old to get a new job, right, by, by the time you're 70 or 80. But yet you're healthy, you know, you have good mind, you have good, great mindsets, that's, not, that's the most important. So a lot of things you can do, you know, besides going after some hobbies, like writing a novel or, you know, learning piano, but you can also do volunteer work, okay? There's so many people who need help, so many. There's so much need out there that you can help, right? And one of the, actually, one of the great things is become a substitute teacher, teach, right? You have so much wisdom and knowledge throughout the, throughout the decades of, of work. Why don't you teach people? It doesn't have to be you know, a, a high school or university. It can be a, an after school. It can be with YMCA or Boys and Girls Club, of, uh, you know, yeah, the Boys and Girls Club. So in the places like that, it's amazing. Another thing is that if you are financially capable, scholarships, students need scholarship. So I have, you know, I've taught, as I've taught over 20 years, and some students are hungry while they're going to school. Can you imagine? Students at universities are hungry. Uh, that's not right, right? So scholarships will, will help them. You know, some of my students actually work two jobs, 
besides going to school. I mean, that's hard for them. So it's good to give you know, students scholarships. In fact, uh, if you look at universities, uh, I've done a lot of research, you know, myself being a graduate student and also a teacher, a lot of work, a lot of research actually is done by uh, students, especially graduate students. So professors are like the guidance, they lead the project, but, the others, that's a but it's the students who are actually doing the computer programming doing the you know, research, the thesis, the dissertation. So they also need scholarships. And so there's so much you can do, especially in education. John and I had a discussion before this, uh, this panel about education. And we, we, we love education, and that's a key. Education is key to developing a good mindset. And as an older person, uh, I'm getting older too. <laughs> so we, we love to teach, OK? So, so if you don't want to teach, it's OK. You know, maybe you can write a book to talk about, you know, to share the knowledge with other people, so. And uh, Newton, uh, if yes. anyone wanted to connect with you after this? Yeah, just Google me, you'll find me. <laughs> so Kat, uh, there was a really good questions from the audience. So if we live very long, like Jim says, you know, thousand years, 2000 years, good things will happen, you know why? People don't care about climate change because they think that they're gonna die anyway, you know? I mean, let my grandchildren take care of climate change. But look, if you live 2,000 years, you have to take care of climate change now. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Thank you. Well said. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're, you're here to stay. You know, you're yeah. not just passing through like in a hotel room. You go to a hotel room, you don't clean it up because the maid's coming, you know, and you're moving out of there. But we're here to stay on this planet. So we have more interest, more dedication mm -hmm. to clean it up than anybody.